Hello everyone and welcome to day seven of your psychic powers. Thank you so much for the amazing love and feedback on this series. I'm really enjoying doing it and tapping us all in with the divine. So during this series, we're tapping in with our psychic powers with the help of Archangel Raziel, the psychic angel and all of heaven watching over us to bring in guidance about what lives inside of us and how we can tap into that psychic power and put it to good use to heal the world to help ourselves and heal humanity so we're going to use the angel therapy oracle deck for this series so thank you angels what do we need to know what are we working on then today how can we tap into our psychic powers what do we need to know so we've got the cards release i love this so the other day we had clear yourself and this is another form of that with release so we have to release release the past to be in the present Release the past to move into the future. Release what's no longer serving us to set us free. So we clear ourselves on the journey, but we also have to release the past, the person that we were, the things that we once did. We have to forgive. So when I'm connecting with this card intuitively, the angels are saying this is also a card connected with forgiveness to forgive the past, to release that energy and let go. Because when we forgive, we heal. Forgiveness heals and it most importantly heals ourselves. It cleanses us. When we're holding on to things that we need to release, we feel negative, we feel low vibration and we know that something needs to change. And most importantly, when we forgive ourselves, we feel free. So when I'm connecting with this card, this is about releasing the past, the person that we were to be the person we're becoming now, because we are powerful and strong. If you're a divine feminine watching this, you're stepping into your divine power. And we've all got a past. We've all got things we aren't proud of, the people we were, the things that we've done. And we have to release that now and let it be and understand that it was part of our journey. It was part of our healing and our soul growth. It made us into who we are because things we go through in the past lead us into our present and they make us stronger. So this message is also about releasing who you were to become who you are. And this is this powerful being of light. So you're tapping in now with your true self, connecting with your psychic powers, moving into your integrity so release that person and let it go. Forgive yourself for things you've done. They don't serve you anymore. Move forward in peace and faith and harmony with your true soul, your true self, and you will thrive. I also feel when I'm connecting with this intuitively, some of you are going to be helping others to release the past. So you're going to be helping others through the things you do, you know, healing, Reiki, you know, energy healing, crystal therapy, maybe, but you're also going to be helping people through the things you say to release the past, to release that part of themselves they no longer need. And you do that through what you go through in your own life, the way you release your own pain and struggle, the way you release and move on from your own suffering to become so powerful in you. Work with Archangel Michael to let go of what no longer serves you or your purpose. So Archangel Michael, the protector angel, the warrior angel who's right by your side is helping you to release. And Archangel Michael has an amazing sword of light. We call it the sword of truth. And it helps us to cut through the cords of the past, to release the past, to let it go, to heal it, to put it to bed. So sometimes when we see a vision of releasing, we see an urn because in the urn, it's all the ashes of the past and we have to release it and let it go to feel free, to release and let go. And that's what I'm seeing here. So these beautiful birds are freedom. So when we release things no longer serving our soul, we move into the energy of freedom. We feel free. And this is a psychic gift we give to ourselves because most people on this journey carry around burdens and carry around fears and insecurities and things they just don't need in their energy field. So it's our job as light workers to help them to release those things, to realize it's safe to do that, 
to release the hold on things so you're not gripping anything anymore and you're releasing to move forward into a life of peace and freedom because when you release you feel free and when you feel free you feel at peace and the show me doves here as well so when you're releasing or you're working on releasing things you'll see doves because it's a sign of peace that you're moving into freedom that you're moving into peaceful energy and you're connecting with the divine because when you feel at peace you feel powerful and you feel connected to the divine because you feel connected to heaven and that's the biggest peaceful energy you can ever have so release today sit down and think about all the things you need to release and they may be emotional things things that you need to forgive and let go of, but there may also be things in your 3D world, things affecting you. It could be things you're eating or drinking. It could be an addiction you need to release. It could be a job or a career or something that doesn't align with you anymore. It could be your relationship. And this could really connect you if you're a twin flame because your divine masculine is also doing the same thing. But it's showing you as we release, we get stronger. As we release, we get more independent. We become more powerful because we no longer we no longer hold on to those things. We no longer need those things. They don't control us anymore. So we don't need them. We're simplifying things. So when we release, we simplify our life. We release that, that energy of, of wanting it or needing it in our life. We release control. And releasing control is the most powerful thing we can do as a psychic healer, as an empath, a light worker, an earth angel, because we trust in the divine and we give it to heaven. So when we release, we say, I give this to you, Lord. I give this to you, universe. I surrender. My life is in your hands. Take this burden away from me. How can you guide me right now? Thank you for showing me the way this or something better please so we give our power over to heaven and we allow heaven to take control something bigger than ourselves takes over and guides us where we're meant to go and we have to release to let go to trust in heaven so releasing is a form of trust it's a form of faith and it's a form of divinity because we give it to something bigger than us to take control. And we realize that we are a small speck in the universe, but we are important to heaven. We're a small piece of the jigsaw puzzle of the bigger picture. So we release and let go and know that we are safe and protected. So the angels are showing this to you today. Release the past to move forward to a better future. So enhance your psychic side by releasing the past. And trusting that you are moving forward now powerfully with strength and understanding, with wisdom, with knowing who you are. Release that hot coal in your hand that you're holding on to. Any bitterness or resentment, let it go. Let go of anything you're holding on to in your life. Because when you let it go, you feel free. And there's that old saying, you know, when you let go, if it's meant to be, it will come back to you. You know, this is showing here, you know, this lady or this angel here is holding a bird in a hand. And sometimes we hold things too much in our hands because we're afraid of letting go. But we have to let go to let it flow. So let go, release it, let it flow and trust in heaven. So some of you will be working on this right now, releasing struggle, releasing pain on your journey, releasing the need to control. And that's a big one we have to release the need to control because we can't control things because everything is meant to be so if it's meant for you it will be for you what's meant for you will be brought back to you like a magnet like a divine magnet of attraction so trust in this release what doesn't work for your soul what's hurting your heart release and move forward into the now knowing that you are safe that you are loved and protected and most importantly that all is well have a beautiful day, sending you so much love and I'll see you soon.